guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of a little upset because I've already filmed this video and my mic wasn't turned on so we're refilming it but I'm gonna keep the same energy because I'm super excited yet nervous still because I created the tag. Just to give you a little background on why I created this tag. At first I was gonna create a trailer for my channel and I wanted it to answer a lot of the questions that you guys have been asking me or Questions that I've already kind of mentioned in the past and I have new subscribers so I wanted to give you guys kind of a, a overview. And then I was like, uh, I should make this out of a tag because I feel like natural hair, like the natural hair community don't have enough tags that we can circulate throughout the community. So I feel like this will be a good one because I, I created these questions if you think they're stupid, whatever, I don't care. Um, but I was just in my bed one day and I was like, listen, this is gonna be fun. If you wanna do it, I would love you forever. <laughs> if you don't, it's cool. Just watch the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. So let's get started. So I have all the questions in the description bar below so that you guys can do the tag as well. So the first question is, let them know your hair type. My hair type, 3C in the front, 4A in the back. I got some tight curls back here and they're a little looser up here. So that's my hair type. Who is your current hair inspiration? Definitely Natural Nisi. She, if you guys have been following me for a while, she has been my inspiration since I started. I was not a natural when I first started watching her. And she, her, between her and Glam Twins, they inspired me to do this. Shout out to you all. Natural Nisi is definitely an inspiration for me. And it's not necessarily her hair type. It's more of how voluminous her hair looks. I want that big hair look where like my hair is damn near covering my whole body. That's what I want. That's, that's goals for me. Let me hike up my chair a little bit. This is better. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, this is where we start the this or that. So basically this whole tag is gonna be kind of a this or that kind of thing. It's like, would you prefer this or that? So it's just a few different things that I decided to jot down. I thought it'd be kind of fun to tell you guys or talk about it. So low porosity or high porosity. I am low porosity. That basically means that it takes a lot for my hair to retain moisture and I just have to add a lot of warm water and I have to add my products in the shower and all that good stuff. So I do do that, but I'm a low porosity girl and I, I can live with that. I like it. It's cool. It's cool. Deep conditioners, thick or slippery? Slippery. Don't fool me. Mm -mm. Um, believe me, believe me. I love slippery deep conditioners and the reason I like them is because you kind of get two in one you get the detangling aspect of it and you also get the moisturizing benefits so if I can ease my wash day routine and skip a step if I can skip the detangling step and go straight to deep conditioner from shampooing sign me up sign me up your girl up in there. So like, that's why I like a slippery deep conditioner. I like something where I can run my hands through it and go straight from either co-washing or shampooing straight to that. So slippery all day. Twist out or braid out? Okay, y'all. <laughs> all y'all who watching this and y'all know me gonna be like, braid out, braid out, braid out. Which it is, it is a braid out for y'all. This is a twist out. My very first successful twist out, yo. Like. I'm gonna give y'all a 360. Y'all, it's a twist out. I did a twist out. Good twist out, girl. Like, for real. I'm so excited. But for the sake of this video, I am a braid out girl. I'll link my braid out above because I do like braid outs. They are heart. They are true to my heart. And I'm a Mish Beauty type of braid out girl. That's pretty much all I use when I do my braid outs. So, y'all. Y'all. Okay, wash and go or rot step? Wash and goes. Rot sets take too long, too much drying time. Everything about rot sets is just long. It just, all, when, I, when somebody mentioned a rot set, I just think long. Just long. It just take a long time. <laughs> so, I would have to say wash and goes. Hop my butt in the shower. I got a shower anyway. Turn my music on. I got my little, um, I got a rain type of shower. Like, you know how they have it at hotels. I got that type of shower. I have my little radio in there. I got a mirror in there. Bitch, I be lit up in my shower. So, yes. Wash and goes all day, okay? Um, perm rod set or flexi rod set? I would have to say flexi rod. Just because it stretches your hair a little bit more. Um, 
but going to sleep on flexi rods ain't the business. But I do like the look of flexi rods. I would probably say I like flexi rods more than perm rod sets. But I can see how somebody like a perm rod set too. Shower or sink? Well, we kind of established that. A shower. Shower, shower, shower. And that's because, let me tell y'all, when I wash my hair in the sink, for some reason, it, it, it's like clockwork and it never changes. There's always deep conditioner right up in here. And it's just sitting there. I go to like film or do my wash and go and I'm like in the mirror and I'm like trying to get to this point. I'm like, dang, I got a glob of deep conditioner no matter how much I wet my hair. I, I could go right up in here and for some reason I still got deep conditioner right there. So it may be happening like that in the shower too. I'm not saying it ain't. And that probably is why the back of my hair grows so long. But um, it just, the sink just doesn't do it for me. And plus I ain't got time to be like this. Mm -mm. So I would have to say shower for me. Air dry or diffuse? Um, air dry. I do not like to blow dry my hair on wet hair. Like, no, no. I do not go straight from having wet hair to blow dry my hair, no. I was, would I sit on a dryer? Yes, because that heat is distribu distributed perfectly, like, perfectly. But, and maybe it's just because I don't know how to diffuse, but putting a dryer or anything directly on my hair before it's dry, it's not gonna happen. My hair has to be completely dry. If you watch my stretching video, my hair was completely dry before I even started that video. So, 100% air dry. Big faint say love bite. Uh. Big paint say love that. Okay, fleeky edges or as they are. Fleeky edges for me. It's something about, if I see like, even y'all, when I see girls with like short hair and they got finger waves and the edges like, I love the finger wave. Like, I love the finger wave look and I feel like that's how I get a little piece of it is to have my edges like that. I don't have my edges like fleeky right now, but I would prefer to actually have them flicky. Okay. Deep conditioners or oils. And y'all probably like, girl, that ain't even that that, that ain't even a fair question. But y'all know why I made it. <laughs> but no, no, no. Deep conditioners. Okay. And this even even anything, if that was put against anything else, I would still pick deep conditioners because deep conditioners are so important. I can do anything with a deep conditioner. Let that deep conditioner be slippery. First of all, I might co-wash with it. I'm a deep condition with it. And I could do a twist out or a braid out with it. So a deep conditioner all day. And it has the nutrients that you need, the moisture that you need, the smell that you need, and it just fire. I tried to think of something to, to rhyme and rap. It it didn't work. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> all right, high bun or a low bun? I always have to say a high bun. Low bun, it just it's very sophisticated, it's cute. But a high bun, yo, like, you could just, like, either wrap that thing, make a puff. Like, high buns all day, you know? I love when, like, my, I look like this. I like the snatchness. You see how my eyes just looks extra, like, good? Yes. A high bun all day. I don't know. I just feel like it's so flattering. I like to show all of my face sometimes. Like, I feel like I look... A lot better when I don't have ooh, come on now a lot better when I don't have like a lot of hair in my face so oh shit I'm slobbing <laughs> definitely a high puff or a high bun bantu knots or finger coils finger coils all day every day over some bantu knots because bantu knots y'all can go on with all that that shouldn't even be a hairstyle at this point because that don't work it don't work okay I done tried they don't try they just sit there, and then when they come out, I don't know what kind of pattern it be. I, I just hang it. on my hair. It just don't be working. If y'all got the magic touch and you think you can do some dance knots on my hair, please come my way. I would love to see. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not that girl. We're not trying them. I've canceled bantu knots a while back. Let's see. Protective styles in the summer or the winter. Definitely the summer because in the winter I am a I want to wear my hair straight like that's the only time I feel like you can actually wear your hair straight and be okay because the summer he is disrespectful springtime it's raining April showers and shit um so yeah I would have to say 
yeah, summertime. Um, bonnet or scarves? I would have to say scarves, scarves, scarves. Just because I sleep with a satin pillowcase and all I need is for this top part to be tamed and I need to, I need to be able to tie my edges down. You can't tie that down with a bonnet. End of discussion. Okay. End of discussion, honey. Wide tooth comb or detangling brush? I would have to say a detangling brush. I don't use a wide tooth comb. I used to. They do, they do help in detangling a lot. They are pretty good. You don't break your hair off as much. But, um, mm, I think a, a detangling brush is just a lot faster for me. I really like it. I love the wet brush under the water. It just glides through. I think brushes are just better for me and my lifestyle. Yeah. Finger detangling or a brush? I would have to say finger detangling. And I know y'all probably like, girl, no, I can't do that. But it really do get easier, y'all. I know y'all probably heard that in somebody else's video, but as you continue to finger detangle, it gets easier and easier and easier. You just gotta start and you can't give up on it. And just, you're, it's so crazy how your hair gets trained to know how to do different things and how to react to different things and how it starts to be trained. It's so crazy. You guys don't even know the half, and I'm here to teach you and, and just show you anything that I know, but hair is so amazing. That's all I'm saying. T-shirt or a microfiber towel? I'll have to say a microfiber towel just because I like things to be designated for their purpose. I like, I mean, I used to get my T-shirts. I had a T-shirt designated for that, but it just started... It, it just never dried quick enough. I don't know. I didn't want to put it in the dry. I didn't want to have to wash it just to dry my hair every time. So, yeah, a microfiber top. I just, I don't know. The t-shirt thing. It, I love it. I still use one, but I would prefer to use the towel over a t-shirt. Gel versus no gel. Y'all know I'm a gel girl all day. My hair is not going to do anything. It'll be real disrespectful without a gel. So, don't even attempt it. Jalen, you tried it. it. You tried it. You gave it your best shot, boo-boo, but... As you see, gel is needed. <laughs> oh, speaking of gel, and I know y'all probably looking at me like, oh, so you just gonna act like you ain't got a banging ass twist out and you ain't gonna talk about what you used in this video. No, not really, but I am. I'm gonna tell you guys, I actually use this gel. And I think I'm obsessed. I think I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to try a wash and go using this gel for you guys because honey, this shit's good. This is some good shit. Some good shit. And it was $2. $2 at Target. Anyway, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get off of that. But gel all day, every day. <laughs> length or health? I used to be a length girl back in my day when I had heat damage. But now that I have curls and I know the effect and I know how they look on me, I am a health over length all day, every day. I love curls. That's just me. I just love curls. Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm that girl that probably gonna touch your curls when I see you because I love curls. Like, and I'm, I know it's disrespectful to some of you guys. I'm just gonna be a disrespectful muff because I just, I love to touch some curls. And I don't even care. You know, it's funny. I don't really care if people touch my hair. I really don't. I care if you touch my scalp. But I don't care if you touch my hair. Like, if you doing all this, you getting disrespectful. But if you just do this, if you know how to, if you're a natural and you know how to touch my hair, that's fine. But if you're doing some unnecessary things, that's when I get mad. Why am I off topic? I don't even know. What are we talking about? Oh, length over health. Okay, health. Health. <laughs> side part or a middle part? Okay, so side part, all day, every day. Okay, I used to actually like middle parts, but let me show you guys. I got a bald spot. You probably can't even see it because I cover it up so much. But it's literally like right here. So a lot of y'all ask me like how I got that bald spot. Y'all, I had a clip and it wasn't a it wasn't a crop clip. It was another type of clip. And I when I pulled it out, I just like and y'all I, I saw the hair. I saw the hair being removed. Like it's not a bald spot, it's a snatched spot. I snatched the shit out my hair. So side part. <laughs> All right, and the last question is a plastic cap or a plastic bag. Plastic bag, all day, every day. Plastic caps don't fit. I don't know why we weren't included when they created plastic caps because they don't fit my hair. So I need a plastic bag, tie that thing up, and then I like do the little tucking thing, and then I, when I deep condition, 
all the heat in there because I've completely closed it. But y'all know, if somebody can come up with a plastic cap with a drawstring, I buy three of them. I buy three of them from you today. If you, if you can invent that for me or make one for me, I will purchase it from you. I'm not even lying. Like, I've been searching high, low, AliExpress, eBay, China, somewhere. I've been searching. And there's no plastic caps that are big enough to fit my head. You have to buy a plastic bag, which is crazy. But anyway, I would, I would, I would choose a plastic bag because I just, I don't have time to be trying to fit my hair and stuff. We got it. Wash day is already long enough. Doing that is not part of my resume. Okay. So, y'all, that is it. I hope you guys liked it. If it was corny to you, I'm sorry. Everybody can't be as smart as you. You know, I just literally was in the bed laying down and I was like, oh, what, what, what other thing can go with this thing? Like, what's this or that? Like, I was just in the bed just having fun honestly and I was just writing down this stuff and I was like and I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to do it and so many people were like yeah 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 yeah." so I want everybody to do it I was gonna just reach out to a few people and collaborate and have this tag but I want you all to do it so tag your it I want to see your videos so when you do create a video if you have a YouTube channel you create a video come back to this video let us know in the comment section below that you created one so that we can go on your video and go and watch it and like it and all that good stuff and spread the love I want to spread some of this love that I'm getting I get so much love from you guys and I want to spread it to other creators that are out there that I like and that watch my videos and may want to create the tags themselves so yeah I think that's it. I'm just talking now. I actually need to edit this video so I can get it up. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.